This oh! guy means business, ladies and gentlemen. And look at him, another stop. Modeling career on hold after this. How much more is Namakawa going to take? Oh! In his prime, Mauricio Shogun Rua was one of the scariest fighters in the world. He dismantled MMA legends with his ferocious fighting style. For a second. Not good. This is not good. And became champion in every organization he competed in. Despite grappling with injuries throughout his career, Shogun left an indelible mark on the history of MMA. In this video, we'll delve deeper into the life of one of the greatest light heavyweights of all time. Born on November 25, 1981, in Curitiba, Brazil, Mauricio Rua, the middle child of the family, started his martial arts journey early at 15 years old. He began training in Muay Thai, followed by Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at 17. Following his older brother, he joined the Chutbox Academy and achieved success in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu championships. He later on worked as a model in Brazil, doing books, pictures and even fashion shows for brands to make money, while training at the same time. Rua began his professional journey at Valetudo events in Brazil, winning four of his five fights. He then made his way to Japan, entering the Pride organization. Making his debut in October 2003, he went on to smash every opponent he faced. Entering the Pride 2005 Middleweight Grand Prix Tournament as an underdog, Rua faced Quinton Jackson in the first fight. He had challenged Jackson, following Jackson's controversial split decision victory over his older brother Murillo Rua just two months prior. Instructions: The referee calls for the bell, and Phil and Boss, this should be a war. Wow! Can't that jab now, so don't wait. High clinch and the patented knees from the chin. So was that one. Quentin should get out. He okay, now Quentin looks a little bit like you said. He's waiting. Oh, look right. He'll look himself coming to the referee. And there's a it's Shogun. It's Shogun. He's just going for it. That's the difference right here. Man, look on Quentin's face. The last knee. The whistle. For it. He's got to just go for it, man. He's got to throw. He's got to let his hand oh, go. Oh, my God. Oh. Good. Man. They, they, they say, man, there's a thing that says. When you get knocked out once, it's easy to get knocked out. Quentin, he's, he's got a heart of a lion, will not go down, but this is not good. This is not good. Yeah, this is the end of the fight. Oh. After his defeat, Jackson later stated that Shogun was the best fighter he had ever faced. In the quarterfinals, Rua faced Antonio Nogueira, who had won 11 of his last 12 fights and was a member of Chutbox's rival academy, Brazilian top team. Well done. And again. <laughs> and that, of course, will always bring a reaction. And again, just a, an awesome. Oh! He doesn't oh, move, look, you see? Yeah. No, he's youthful exuberance on the part. Nice takedown there with that straight left. Yep. And he's been a little while. I never saw him breathing with his mouth open. He's always like going and going better than this fight. And talking to his ear. And no hitting him. And Nogueira's bleeding now. But oh. Nogueira's getting the better of these exchanges. And another, oh, Shogun just like that, turning the tables. Summoning up that spirit. And there you see the replay, boss. Wow, oh. beautiful left. Mauricio Shogun. Look 
On August 28, 2005, in the semifinals, Rua secured a TKO victory over kickboxing superstar Alistar Overeem in the first round. Great sprawl work by Overeem. Oh, guillotine coming up. Oh, he's got it. Goodness. He's got the it. Guillotine by Overeem. Is it like he has? He can finish Mauricio Sugar. Oh, oh no. Probably going to try a stomp. No, it's oh. not. A kick to the head. And another kick, and that's going to help out Shogun's cause. Knees. Oh, oh it's not the arm. Right. No, it's bad. Good job. As hard as he can so that Mauricio has to look for balance and can't punch. And the fans down. Gun. Trying to wing block his Overeem or answering the phone as El Waffle likes to come. Whoa, and now he's on again. trying to neutralize that left arm and now just raining in those left and it is over! It. Shogun continues! On the same night, following Ricardo Arona's victory over Rua's teammate Wanderlei Silva by decision, Rua and Arona squared off in the final bout of the tournament. For that matter, also for Mauricio Shogun and what? An artistic spinning kick. But look at this. Hey, Uma Palada. He's got it? Does he have me? Oh no, he's out. Whoa, would that be something? And looking for the knee this. right away and a stop kick. Uh oh, to the crotch. This Mauricio Shogun, 23 years of age, on a map of oh, stardom. There there he goes. Less than three minutes into the first round, Rua landed a series of punches that knocked Arona out, securing the victory and becoming the 2005 middleweight Grand Prix champion. Look at this, it's over! It's over! Unbelievable! I don't think I've ever seen a more dominating performance. The first place trophy to Mauricio Shogun, and of course, in his next fight after winning the Grand Prix, Shogun went up to heavyweight and took on heavyweight wrestling star and Pride Grand Prix 2000 champion Mark Coleman. However, the fight didn't actually play out as expected. 224 pounds. Yes. Nobody except Pride Tournament champion Mark Coleman taking Ooh. on the... Coleman looking for the takedown and has his back momentarily and then Shogun and quickly puts it into a triangle and slams Shogun down. For Nambar already now, if he can get underneath that. Oh, leg lock, he's going for a leg lock. The Go submission hold. defense of Hammerhouse oh. has always been there, Achilles heel. Shogun continuing to work on it. As Coleman executed a takedown, Rua landed awkwardly and dislocated his elbow, forcing a stoppage. Down. There you go. So oh, yes. Oh, oh, man. The referee intervened to separate Coleman from Shogun, leading to immediate confrontation between members of Rua's corner and Coleman's team. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, we've got problems here. Things are breaking down in the ring. This escalated into an in-ring brawl between Hammerhouse and Chutebox. Involved now as well, the security. He has dislocated his elbow, we have been told. But how long will it be before Shogun is able I need some fucking help out there! I need some goddamn help there, 20 of them! Hey, I'm with you. I'm, I'm one out there. If I was out there, I'd fucking sucker punch three times out there. I got a Six months after suffering a broken arm and his first ever loss in Pride, Rua returned to middleweight and rebounded with a first round victory over French kickboxer Cyril Diabat before taking on the former UFC heavyweight champion and freak of nature Kevin Randleman. He's that strong. Give up. You can see Randleman, the pain of he submitted Randleman with a knee bar at 2 minutes 35 seconds of the first round, marking the only submission victory of his career. In his final Pride appearance at Pride 33, he had a rematch with Alistair Overeem and knocked out the Dutch fighter for the second time, also in the first round.
By the end of his run at Pride, Shogun had amassed an impressive professional record of 16 wins, including 14 finishes and only 2 defeats. As a result, he was considered as one of the top light heavyweights in the world. In March 2007, Lorenzo Fertitta, co-owner of Zufa, had struck a deal to acquire all assets of Pride Fighting Championships, effectively bringing Pride under the UFC umbrella. Following the acquisition, Shogun signed with the UFC and made his debut in September 2007 at UFC 76, where he faced the Ultimate Fighter 1 winner, Forrest Griffin. You are the Ultimate Fighter. Alright, gentlemen, you know the rules. We all spent a good, clean, fair fight. Forrest Griffin will upset Shogun here and sold out. Directed Forrest was with his striking. It is right leg battle. kick. Very good right leg kick by him. Gets up his back, he rolls. Forrest's got to watch the up kick. And it's all going to be in and out. Now let Shogun put the paint. Inside leg kick by Forrest. The Forrest to take down. Shogun pushing forward. Good exchange. Both men. And oh, that's it. Change kicks. Jab connected. Left hook by Forrest. Switches directions nicely. But he ate one. Shogun. And the team is super confident for this. Oh, big right fight. Hand. By Shogun. Forrest Griffin. Here it is right here. Bang! Right on the bridge. Where do you know Shogun have left? It was a back and forth battle where both fighters relentlessly exchanged blows from bell to bell for three rounds. However, Rua ultimately fell victim to a rear naked choke in the final seconds of the third round, resulting in a loss in his UFC debut. Following the loss, a pre-existing knee injury had a more detrimental effect on Rua's career, requiring surgery. Consequently, Rua left Chute Bucks in January 2008 and established his own camp, Universade da Luta, alongside his brother Murillo. However, in the months following his surgery, Rua suffered a complete re-rupture of the damaged ligaments during training, leading to a second knee surgery. A year and a half after his UFC debut, Rua had the chance to avenge his only pride loss when he faced Coleman in January 2009 at UFC 93. Do you understand, Shogun? Touch gloves, come out fighting. Oh, big leg kick immediately by... Coleman's got to keep those hands up. Coleman not comfortable. Shogun relentless in his attack as well. He looks exhausted. He ate a knee there, a knee to the chin. Coleman gonna look... Right, but that was later on in the fight. Oh, there it is. It's it. He's hurt. But I remember, as you know, Joe, you try to shoot, you don't have as much energy left. Yeah, he's got two hands clasped together, yeah. which is always being only 27% of his takedown attacks. Coleman with the left, and again. Shogun looks exhausted himself. And Mark just landed that jab again. Shogun has no respect for Mark Stanton. Right to the ribs. With left hand by Shogun. If he can land jabs, he can land his left hook. Remains in the fight. Coleman rocks. Coleman's in trouble. He's down. It's all over. Mauricio Shogun. Landed with just 24 seconds remaining in the chin. third round, Shogun dropped Coleman with a vicious combination and secured the victory. The fight earned co fight of the night honors and a $40,000 bonus. But despite the win, Rua faced criticism from fans for his lackluster performance against Coleman, who was 44 years old at the time and had not competed in over two years. Rua's next fight took place only three months later at UFC 97 in Montreal against former longtime UFC light heavyweight champion Chuck the Iceman Liddell. Le like to check leg kicks. Got clip of the right. And he answered the right of his own. Ducked under that time. Liddell pressing forward. Liddell combination. Got all. Oh. Again, That's though. Right hand. Over the top. Again. That's the one. And he, he glanced. Mentioned Joe's got a nutritionist. Liddell with the all time UFC record. 16 wins in the octagon. Look at this. And he's Show taking down. Running forward. Uppercut. Gotta be careful. To For a second. Chuck Liddell gets caught with the left. Dry. Had had enough. Here you see.
see it again. The left hook drops him. And Shogun all After winning the fight in spectacular fashion against a notable opponent like Chuck, Royal reclaimed his position in the top 10 rankings for the light heavyweight division. And the UFC decided to place him next in line for a title shot against the champion, Yoto the Dragon Machida, who was widely considered one of the pound for pound best fighters on the planet. Machida and Rua squared off at UFC 104 in October 2009, in what was Machida's first title defense after claiming the title in March against Rashad Evans. Touch again, make it official. Now in. Oh, wow. Nice. Emmanuel Yarbrough. We've tried oh. to. People who have only seen him fight in the. Oh, another tag kick. Oh, he's oh. covering the ribs again. Good body kick. Another. Again to the Beautiful midsection. Body kick. Oh, nice right hand and a kick. Faces after him. Oh, inside leg kick. Inside leg kick. He's taken away from his offense. Again, again with that leg kick. Here we go. Leona Machida now swinging away. But Shogun is dangerous in it. Shogun landed right. Can he really do that right now? Oh, nice. Again with that leg kick, Mike. Good counter by Machida. And a nice knee by Shogun. Nice knee to the body by Shogun. Shogun again. And a nice right hand, a nice kick. Anything, it's over. His legs are dead. Another beautiful body. This is the Shogun that every another Nice body kick by Machida and a count. And again, he's coming into tonight. Nice knee by Lyoto. After five rounds of back and forth exchanges, Shogun suffered a loss by unanimous decision, with all three judges scoring the bout 48 to 47 in Machida's favor. Despite this, many journalists and UFC president Dana White scored the fight in Ross' favor. So, due to the controversy surrounding the decision, a rematch was immediately announced and took place at UFC 113 on May 2010 in Montreal. But this time, Rua didn't leave the fight to the judges and took matters into his own hands. Shogun pushing forward. Shogun will let him the counter. Kick. And that could have a nice knee to the body. Oh, he got rocked. Shogun is a full house. Now reaching out. He's 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 out. After dropping Machida with a right hand and following up with punches on the ground, Rua secured the KO victory and the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship, becoming just the second fighter to have won both Pride and UFC titles. But his knee problems persisted, leading Rua to undergo surgery one month later to repair a knee injury that occurred during the bout against Machida. Rua's first title defense was scheduled for March 2011 against Rashad Evans. However, following John Jones' victory over Ryan Better at UFC 126, it was revealed that Evans had suffered a knee injury during training and would not be able to face Rua. Jones was informed during his post-fight interview that the UFC wanted him to step in as a replacement for Evans in the bout against Rua for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. Jones accepted and the fight was scheduled for UFC 128. Although Rua was the more experienced fighter, he found himself dominated throughout the entire fight. A body shot followed by a knee to the head dropped the champion to his knees, prompting the referee to step in and stop the fight. This marked Rua's loss of the title and made John Jones the youngest UFC champion in history at just 23 years old. Following the loss to Jones, Rua's rematch with Forrest Griffin occurred on August 2011 at UFC 134. In a fight that appeared to be the polar opposite of their original bout, Shogun secured victory via KO early in the first round. Shogun has a huge 205. And that's what he used that size advantage against Franklin. Forces in trouble. Shogun swarming. Shogun with the big hammer fist. It is all over. Mauricio Shogun. in trouble the temple and took away his equilibrium and then he finished the job there huge hammer fist from the former with this win rua had now avenged three of his five losses following his win over griffin rua kept competing in the sport for another 12 years
Despite being past his prime and not always emerging victorious, he continued to captivate fight fans with thrilling highlights and displays of his skill. His journey in the sport came to an end when he announced his retirement in January 2023, during the post-fight interview following his TKO loss. From his early days as a rising star to his reign as a champion in multiple organizations, Shogun's impact on the sport will be remembered for generations to come. Despite the obstacles he faced, his ferocious fighting style and relentless pursuit of victory solidify his place among the elite of MMA greats.